Well, we're coming off of a, a, a good weekend, uh, our, uh, our first home weekend of conference play against Eastern Oregon and, and College of Idaho. Uh, both proved to be really good teams. Um, and we had some good basketball going on, and uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, you know, we win the, one, the first one by four against Eastern Oregon and, and win an overtime against uh, College of Idaho. Uh, it's you know one of those things where three or four points difference and you could be 0-2 and, and, and you're not nearly as happy. Uh, so we, we were very fortunate. We shot the ball well and, and we were fortunate to come out of that with a couple wins. Um, then now we get a chance. we got one more weekend before we get to the break. Um, we'll be on the road uh, up in Portland. Uh, we open up there Friday with uh, Concordia. Um, Concordia has had a, a, an interesting start. Uh, they've played really well against a couple Division Ones. Um, they lost some close games against some good NAIs, and uh, right now at the moment they're 0-3, I believe, in the league. But they've uh, they've had to be on the road all three games. They've had the Eastern and C of I trip on the road, and then they played at Warner Pack. So, so they've played three of the best teams in the league already, and all of them on the road. So, uh, I don't know that the record's a real uh, good indication of, of what they're uh, of how good they are. Um, we know that they have, you know, possibly certainly one of the best players in the league in Adam Herman. I think he's averaging about 26 points a game uh, and around 12, 13 rebounds a game, and he's, and he's extremely efficient. Um, I think he's shooting around 60 to 65 percent from the, from the field. Um, and this year he's expanded his game a little bit. He's, he's shooting, he can, he's gone out to the three point line a little. Uh, he definitely can put it on the floor and, and get by bigs that are guarding him. Um, and he's just got a wonderful touch inside. So he's a, he'll be a big key for us. We've, uh, we'll have to have some luck getting him slowed down a little bit. Uh, they have a junior college uh, player at, the, at their two spot, uh, Willie Ligon, or Ligon, um, a 6'3 guard that uh, can just fire it up. He can really, really shoot it. Um, so we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to find a way to get him stopped and stay connected. Um, I, I believe in the, I think he had around 12, 13, uh, three attempts against Warner Pack, and uh, we, we can't let him get that many off. That uh, will be one of the things that we'll be trying to take care of. We can't let him have that many attempts. Because if he has that many attempts, it, it's given him a chance to get it going. So uh, we, we'll have to stop that. Um, that. They've got a nice team. They've got a, a, a point guard that's uh, uh, Anthony Holton that's played. He played uh, the second half of the season last year. He started at the point. Very nice player. And, um, they've just got a, a pretty well-rounded crew. Uh, so th that'll be an extreme one for us. We Typically we play pretty well up there, uh, and we hope, hope we can do that again. And then the second night will be against Warner Pack, and Warner Pack is obviously one of the better better teams in our league. Um, they I think they're 2-1 and one in the league, but they played at, at Eastern Oregon and at College of Idaho. Uh, I think Eastern beat them by two at their place. Um, so and it's a it's a different look. Uh, Warren Pack gives us a different look than any team in the league. They're gonna prep. Are they gonna zone uh, all night long? I don't think I still don't think I've seen them have any man-to-man -man possessions in the last year and a half. Um, and this year they're pressing a lot mo for most of the game, not all the game, but most of the game. Uh, they're pressing. So um, that'll be a different look. And on the second night, it's a little bit tougher to prepare uh, for that kind of stuff. But we'll have to do our best. We've got. A full week of practice, uh, including Monday. So, um, you know, it, it, it uh, hopefully we can get ourselves ready and get at least a good feel for what uh, for what both those teams will offer us. Um, and it's a chance for us to leave for the holidays on a good note. Um, you know, the road wins uh, in this league are very tough to come by, and uh, we feel like we have a chance at both of them. If, uh, if we can uh, take care of some business there, we'd be in very good shape uh, heading into the break. Um, so. And, and what we've said all along, though, even if, you, if we don't, we want to get better. This is the time of year that you got to be getting better and better. And we had a few things this weekend that we didn't do very well. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a chance to do those better this coming weekend. And uh, if we do do the things that we uh, have identified as weaknesses, if we can get them a little bit better, I think we'll, we'll do okay on the weekend.